Hi, my name's Jovan, and this is the final part in my three-part series on how to create cameras in Blender and getting the most out of them. The first part is about the basics of cameras and getting to know the camera rig in Blender. The second part is about using attributes so you give yourself a whole lot of fine control over the cameras. And this final part is about creating a custom control camera rig. This is super helpful because it gives you a bit more control over your camera and make sure that your curves and everything are super duper clean. So what you want to do is go into Blender, create a camera and remove the rotations except for the X value. Leave that at 90. Then click Control and the A key to reset all transforms to zero. Now add a circle empty and parent the camera to it. This is the basics of the custom camera control rig. Now essentially what you've got is a master control and the camera. So what you can do from here is you can move around the mask control if you want to get your camera into the basic general position and then you use your actual camera itself for those smaller changes. From here, I often like to create a second control. So I'll have one circle master control and a smaller circle as the base control. This can be really helpful because you can leave the master control at zero, zero and then have the base control act as your kind of secondary master. This is great because it means that if for some reason you've got to move your characters, camera and your set all together, you can just select that master control and shift everything along with it, which means that it won't ruin any keyframes later on. Whereas if you just had one of those controls, you'd have to then kind of do this process by grabbing an empty, parenting the camera to it and moving that across. This is just like an easier, cleaner, safer way to do all that. Now from here, you can kind of go with your heart's desire. You can use constraints to add different types of empties. Say if you want to have a pan control or like if, or a tilt control or ones that only do the booms and the dollies. And I'll have a link to a custom control camera rig down in the description below which has my version of the camera setup that I use for my projects. But if you don't want to go to the trouble of creating that, inside Blender, there's actually a default com camera control rig that you can enable as well, which is pretty good too. So what you're going to do is go to Edit Preferences, Add-ons, and type in Camera Rig, and tick on the Camera Rig. Now, when you go to create a camera, you'll see two new options of camera rigs. Test these out, see which one you prefer. If you like them but want to take little bits, you can kind of use that to create your own version of a controlled camera rig. But that's pretty much it. That's the basics of creating a custom camera control rig in Blender. Now from here, you can go and add as much or as little to the control rig to make it custom for you. But that's kind of the basic setup that's a great way to start your cameras in Blender for any sort of movies, short films, or whatever project you want to create. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. And if you watched through the whole series, thanks for checking out the whole series on cameras in Blender. If you liked it, please do leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot from these three videos and continue to use these kind of tips and tricks in your projects. Cheers and I'll see you next time.